Welcome to Mystery Card Monday. You're on Tamara's Paper Trail. I am Tamara. Who are you? Who's playing with me tonight? And let me tell you, you want to play tonight because there may be a prize. We're going to do a prize. Yeah, we are. Yeah, we are. We're going to do a draw. Hi, Jen. I'm going to do a draw from everybody who enters. Which means you need to play along tonight. You need to make the card inspired by my layout. And there is going to be a prize. Hey, hey, Shayla. Many of you will not have this in your stash yet because it is part of our pre-pre-order. So anybody who went to on stage may have this in their stash. But those who did not will not. You can't order them until December 1. I have one. I have one here to give away. Hi, Cheryl, Shayla, Donna. Yeah, so sorry, I'm, you know, I'm multitasking here while I chat. I am uh, I'm trying to crack off 14 of those hot chocolate packets that I made last week. And so I spent, uh, oh, I don't know, about half an hour today die cutting my foam. I'm not quite done yet. I had to move on to other things. I've been on fire today. You know why? You want to know why? Hello, hello. Hi, Hope. Hi, Penny. Hi, Sherry. You know why I was so focused and on fire today was because yesterday was Sunday and it was my first, hi Edna, Catherine, it was my first trial run of not working and not being on social media on a Sunday. Huh? Now, I would just like to say thank you very much. I'm going to get a round of applause to myself because I can because I got this fancy little button unless the button is missing. Nope, there it is. I see it. Round of applause for me. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yes. Now, full disclosure, I did work about five hours yesterday, <laughs> but I didn't go on social media. Now, some of you might say, yes, Tamara, I saw that little green button on that little green light said that you were indeed on Facebook. Nay, nay, I say. I was there only to message people through Messenger to say, hey, your order's ready, or hey, you owe me this much money, or hey, I mailed that stamp set, or hey what? <laughs> so I popped in and out of Facebook, but I did not scroll. I did not scroll. It was killing me because I knew there were a whole bunch of comments from my daughter's grad dress pictures and I did not look at them and I did not read them. So yay for me. I, I nailed half of it. Now, in my defense, I, I didn't have to work, but Craig was doing his thing. Alicia was working all day and Rebecca was at my mother's. So what's a girl to do? I had two weeks worth of paperwork to do, literally two weeks because I was away the last two weekends. I had people messaging me going, hey, like, what do I owe you from two weeks ago? I'm like, I don't have another paperwork yet. So I figure you can't run a business if you don't get the money in. <laughs> so I spent five hours doing like the paperwork, uh, the real paperwork upstairs. So that's what I did. But it was relaxed. It was leisurely. And then when Alicia was done her and um, her homework, I stopped. I did my nails a little bit. Uh, we watched some TV. Yeah, we colored. It was good. All right, who did I miss? Hello, everybody who's in the house. Valerie's here, and Linda's here, and Teresa's here. Valerie, and Coral, and Mary, and Trina. You're still cutting paper. Don't worry about it, Trina, because I haven't cut my paper, so I'll be with you. Um, yeah, so the grad dress shopping, I'll just rewind for a second, and we'll get going. It's already 7.03, but we got cards to make tonight. Um, get out your Christmas paper, ladies. Christmas paper. Let's get it going on. It is almost December. Holy cow. Anyway, yes, Saturday, I went grad dress shopping with Alicia. We're going again tomorrow. We're going to a different store. Trina, I'm going to your girlfriend's store, uh, Prom Affair. And hi, Bernice. Um, we're going to check it out. Now, we're leaning, hi, Marcella, leaning very heavily towards the black one uh, for a variety of reasons. The blue one. It was the first one that everything was judged by. And it was like, well, do we like it better than the blue one? No. And then the green one was a, ooh, it's a tie. But then the blue one we decided was a little too matronly. It was a little bit too Rebecca. It wasn't enough Alicia. The green one was more Alicia, but the girls were going to be falling out. Like she, there's, with that back, there was no way she could wear any sort of bra, not even strapless because it was so low. Um, she'd have to wear like... Uh, pasties and like duct tape boob like hike like 
who wants to be in that all like eight hours if you're going out to a three hour party maybe but like not all day so she's like yeah you know I, I even said like dance bounce see what happens there and so we're not too comfortable that there wasn't going to be a wardrobe malfunction so the green one's out the blue one's out the black one's still in the running and that's the one to beat hi Nikki um and we just want to check out a few other just to secure like we only tr we tried on about Oh, I don't know, eight, nine, ten dresses. And she, re the more she looks at it, she really likes the black one. It is very itchy. The lace and the tool on the straps, really itchy. So I said, well, I'm sure the seamstress could put some sort of a, a rubber backing or a something. And plus it was hiked up really high to get the girls where they needed to be. And it's all pinned and clipped, right? So um, it was fun. We had, a, we had a really nice day together. So that was fantastic. And uh, yeah, then we went out for dinner afterwards. It was just a really nice weekend. So. Yeah, I hope you all had a good weekend too. I also had my team meeting and that was good times, good times. I had a meeting with Genevieve Coe, who is our new um, development man, uh, demonstrator development manager for Canada. And so there was a big leader meeting with her um, on Saturday. So it was like nonstop all day Saturday. Now, having said that, when I got home, I went to, I got off the couch and all of a sudden I was like, ah, ah, ah. And Alicia's like, what's going on, mom? You know, like when you get a Charlie horse or like a, the, the muscle spasm in your calf, I got that on my shoulder. I was like, oh, and I'm laughing, but it hurt like a son of a biscuit. And anyway, so I've had some sort of a trapped nonsense going on and my, my shoulders are still like, I have to push them down. Today's a lot better than it was yesterday, but holy cow, there's, there's just been a lot of stress lately and too much sitting. And then I've been like this. So it's like, okay, push it down. <sighs> Okay, and breathe. <laughs> hey, Jody, how are you? Hello. Hi, good evening. All right. So, um, anyway, I got up. So, by taking yesterday off, like, okay, yeah, yeah, I worked on the paperwork, but I didn't go on social media. So, I did get a lot done, and I don't get, like, I don't have the news. So, I'm not, I wasn't bombarded by all kinds of stuff, and I really did relax because I got to do things without 94 things coming at me. I didn't answer messages that came through. I didn't even look at them, right? So today I was like ready to hit the ground running. So I do understand the whole, you have to recharge your batteries to have a stronger battery, right? Like I get that. So actually there's a quote. I'm going to post this on, on my page another day because I must have posted like 10 times today. But this quote, I have to read it to you because it's so me. So this book I'm reading, it's called Essentialism. Essentially, just do what you have to. The rest, let it go, right? So there is this quote, and it says, For type A personality, it's not hard to push oneself hard. The real challenge for someone who thrives on a challenge is not to work hard. If you really want to do something hard, say no to an opportunity so you can take a nap. Right? It is, you guys, you know, I say it week after week. It is so hard for me to slow down. It's just, it's not how I'm programmed. So I'm like, I will rise to this challenge. I will do the hard things. And the hard thing is not to do the hard things. It's really mind blowing, right? <laughs> Stephen Cohen's seventh habit, self-renewal. Thank you, Hope. Look at the big brain on you. Good, Jody. Extremely busy with the holidays and packing to move to Fayetteville. Fayetteville, never heard of that place. Cool. Well, I hope that goes well. Packing sucks. <laughs> Hi, Christine. Anyway, so yeah, I'm energized. I got all kinds of things done. I did a blog hop today on that shaker card that I made last week. Um, so that's on my blog. If you want to hit uh, Tamara's Paper Trail. No, yes. Tamara's Paper Trail dot blogspot dot com. I have so many pages, you guys. I can't even keep them all straight. Jeez Louise. Then I came down here. I cracked off my mystery card Monday. I love tonight's layout. I love it. Love it. Love it. Why have I not done this before? Home of Fort Bragg. Well, look at the, Hope. Gosh, big brain on all you people. Hi, Paulette. Hey, Caroline. Did the blog hop. Cracking off a bunch. Oh, where is my mini? There's my circle. I'm cracking off 14 of these. So that's what I'm doing. My pre-order kit. Oh, so much. Let's make a card. 709, enough rambling. Let's get going. Let's get, go I haven't even set up. Where's my bucket? I need my bucket. Oh my God. Ah, love it. Okay. There are just a few pieces tonight now, but, oh, I love it because I said this makes one card. I might've lied a little bit. We might get two cards out of these pieces of paper. Look, I haven't even set up. Oh my goodness. Okay. Wait, I got to set up my stuff. 
I have to set up. I got a little excited. I was putting stickers on my new stamp sets. Okay, so if you popped in right at the very beginning, where's my large? I need a large. Oh my goodness. Oh, la, 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 la. <laughs> if you popped in right at the beginning, uh, there are a few of you here, but hey, I mentioned there is going to be a prize. If you play along tonight, your name will be, blah, 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 will be entered into my prize. So I'm going to give you until, when should I give you until? Wednesday, is that enough time? Maybe Thursday? How about Thursday? Thursday, during my check it out Thursday, I don't know, C-I-O-T, Thursday, not a Tuesday, maybe my tickle trunk, th I haven't decided on a name yet. I might just stick with check it out Thursday because you guys are all trained. Check it out Tuesday. Now it's check it out Thursday. I'll probably, maybe I'll do the draw. I'll tell you who won, who, who, who won the draw on Thursday. So you have until Thursday at 6, 5, nah, 6, 6.45 p.m. Mountain Time. Your name will go in the draw for whoop, the stamp set. This is one of our celebration stamp sets that's coming up called In the Country. And... I think it's going to look gorgeous stamped in basic gray. I, I don't, I can't, this is the only one I have, so I can't use it to show you. If you stamp it in just basic gray, it's going to look like a pencil, like a pencil drawing. I think it's going to look great. This one too, we had something similar years ago. And if you just put a pop of color on the door, so make that a red door, that's all you have to do. You could emboss this in gray or black. Uh, this one, you can use your watercolor pencils or your blends. Um, there are a lot of things that were shown um, at on stage using this set. So this is going to be the prize, but you have to enter. And that means you have to play along. So using the layout we're using tonight or inspiration from, um, post your card by 6.45 on Thursday and you'll be entered in my draw, into my draw. So these are the pieces we're using tonight. Where's Mr. Pointer? Here we go. Yes. Do you say sepia? I say sepia. Sepia, sepia, eh, sepia. I don't know what I say. Soft suede. Yes, sepia. Okay, Tracy, look at the, you and Paulette. Oh, you sure in a brain tonight. That's okay, Kathy. You're not feeling well, I see. I'm sorry. Spotlight cards. Great one, uh, Crystal. Yes, the spotlight. So for a spotlight, for those of you who don't, who don't know what that is, you can just, um, you can just, literally color one section you could punch out a shape and just color that shape and pop it up on dimensionals um, there are lots of techniques that you could do with this that's beautiful that's that's a great idea I love that thanks for chiming in you guys excellent all right we are going to go so tonight we're gonna make have you ever made the what's it called uh recessed panel card I've seen them all over I've seen them all over Pinterest I've never made one and then I was following Jackie Bolcha my friend Jackie who now has another name that's this long Jackie Vander Zarboot something I don't know it's long she's married it's Dutch I still call her Jackie Bolcha she's the pampered stamper and she's in Chatham Ontario it's, uh, maybe it's not pronounced Chatham. That's what I call it. I don't know. Uh, anyway, she lives in Holland for three or four months at a time. And then she pops back to Canada because her husband is in Holland. So she's back and forth. Anyway, she did a recess panel card. And I thought, I'm going to try that. And I so I based my measurements on hers. And then I, I followed a couple other um, videos down the old YouTube rabbit hole. And uh, there's no real firm dimensions on what we're going to do. So I'm just going to follow, well, I took Jackie's originally and then I, I changed it. I thought, no, I want mine slightly different. So we're going to start by folding our card base. They are, they're so fun, Teresa. I hope you're playing along so you can get in the draw. So there's our card base. We're going to tuck it. Oh, Chatham. Okay, Chatham. Yeah, I think I knew that, Catherine. I called it Chatham, didn't I? What a hick. <laughs> Chatham. I should know that. With all the English places, when I lived in England, I'm like, I, I thought I was pretty good at pronouncing things, but apparently not. All right. So that's our, uh, we're, well, that was our standard card base, eight and a half by five and a half. Chat them, chat them. I'll try to remember that. Then we're going to need designer paper layer, three and three quarters by five. Now, this is your opportunity to use this burn your retina off paper. Okay. The busier the pattern, almost the better on this one. Well, it's going to bring up some, oh, that's nice. Oh, good, Melanie. Good. Melanie's laid up. Everybody sell, send Melanie a card. She's got a foot in a cast and ugh. oh, you guys just get healthy. Stop it already. People, come on. But that was kind of her. I hope you're feeling better too, Melanie. All right. Uh, all right. So I'm going to put tape on the back of this and I'm going to tape it down. So what did I say? Three and three quarters across by five. Oh, I have 
a headache. Again, my sh I'm just, I'm so tight. My shoulders, so tense. Oh, stop it. All right, we're almost done. All right, so what else are we going to do? We don't need all this stuff, right? We'll come back to that. So here is the main focus of our card tonight is this piece of paper. So it's a cardstock layer, three and three quarters by five, which, hey, Tamara, wait, that's the same size as the designer paper. What? What are you doing? Did you screw up? I did not screw up. Oh, oh, Shayla, you're still wounded? For God's sake, walking without help. It's almost time to get a... Oh my gosh, no, Shayla. You guys, the walking wounded you two are. Are you three? Are you five? All right, get a ruler. This is my Donna ruler. Hey, Donna, say hi to the Donna ruler. For those of you who don't know about the Donna ruler, this is my Donna ruler. Couldn't live without it. Don't know how I lived without it beforehand. Head on over to Amazon, get yourself a Donna ruler. It's only called a Donna ruler because my friend Donna bought it for me. So now it shall ever be known as the Donna ruler and I can't focus on it. One, four, seven, five, one, one, nine, one, two, one, four. Easy read ruler. All right. So I'm taking my Donna ruler. <laughs> I know Melanie is fabulous. Okay. We're going to take a ruler. We're going to take a pencil. Hope you brought a pencil. And I'm just going to make a little mark a half inch down the left hand side. And I'm going to make a mark at one and a quarter down the left hand side. Just a little tick. Just a little one. Then on the right hand side, I'm going to make a tick, tick at two and a half. Now this can be really anywhere you want it. And I'll show you why in a minute. Uh, Jackie had done it at three. I like it at two and a half. And I'll show you why. Let's get out our trimmer, friends. Plastic. Huh. Interesting, Kathy. Huh. Okay. Hi, Melissa. Got one after you recommended it, but mine does not have felt on the back. This is cork. Well, I don't know. Okay. Needed to get the, the right one. See, that's the thing with, um, with Amazon. You really got to watch what you're getting at. It's not always the same. Yeah. All right. So what we're going to do now is we're going to put this mark, this half inch tick in the track for the cutter. And we're going to put the other tick that was at two and a half in the other end of the track for the cutter. Okay. So make sure they're lined up there and there. Close the door, slice. Now, before I do anything, because I'm very easily confused, I'm going to take this piece out and I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to put a bee or a squiggle or something on it so that I know that's the back of it. All right. Now we're going to scooch this over and we're going to put the second mark that was at one and a quarter in the track and we're going to put this tip down here in the track. So again, you might have to just maneuver it a little bit here and there to make sure that it's lined up properly. Now, Remember this tip that I told you before, if you, if you're going to go slicing this way, because this is a point and it, it, you could, you could smush that point if you go up starting at the point, depending on if your thing is dull or how you're pushing it. So you could, what I would recommend is either going this way down because it's not a point here. See how that's a point that's not, but this was a Tamara's tip from a while back up in here. If you just put the, put the cutter in the middle somewhere push down and then go down and then up that way. You're not mangling. That point is still a perfectly good point. Okay. Now what I'm going to do here too, is this, this is the piece I want. I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to put a B this piece. You can just put aside for now. Don't be throwing that away. Okay. Look what's going on. We're almost done. Piece one. Piece two. It. Now we just have to stamp and decorate. So when Jackie did hers at three, it just made this less of a gap. So it would be more like, it would be more like that, right? I wanted it to be much more of a starbursty. Whoa. Now I've seen other ones too, where they cut it on either side of this point and to, they didn't go right down to this point. So you can just cut this however you darn well please. So let me just grab another piece of paper there. And oh, oh seriously, I have to open it. No, I don't. Hang on. I'm going to grab another piece of paper and I'll show you what I mean. And I'll just wing this and maybe I'll do this one slightly different then. So this piece was three and three quarters by five. So five by three and three quarters. 
So you can just watch for a minute or you can start playing with this one and decorate it. So what I mean is um, I saw a couple other um, videos where they didn't even measure, honestly. I think it was uh, Norella, Norella Fraj, something with an F. Norella. I know her name is Norella. Fruglia? Anyway, she's an artisan that we all kind of know and love, but she didn't even measure. She just kind of winged it. So she had done, it was about a quarter of an inch on either side of this point. And then she just sliced. So she put this tick here and then like she, she didn't even do the measuring. She just did this and then this. And she didn't go down to the very corner. She just took a chunk out of the middle Okay, so that one's gonna go away. So this is what Norella's looked like with something more like this. So there's no right or wrong. Okay, it's just, it's whatever you feel like, do it. If you wanna measure it, measure it. So I'm gonna go back to my original one. Now, I had said, you want a large sentiment, be nice with gold foil behind, yes. Oh, honestly, Melanie, there is so much. Hi, Carmen. I'm going to watch this time instead of listen and watch. Okay, there you go, Trina. Uh, measurements again, Nikki. So the one that I did, I put a tick at a half an inch and then one and a quarter inches. Okay, right? So on your original piece of paper, go down, make a mark on the left-hand side at a half and one and a quarter. And then on the right-hand side, make a tick at two and a half. So then you're slicing from that tick to that tick. And then from the second tick down to the corner point. Okay. Hope that makes sense. Now, before we're going to go do anything else here, I said get a large sentiment. So one of the best sets you can use if you're doing a Christmas card, this one is balls, right? Because you've got this great big chunk right here. And the, all of them will fit here uh, and look nice. So I did the Tis the Season to be Jolly. And I'm doing it in the Pacific Point because that's one of the colors in here. And I'm gonna stamp Tis the Season to be Jolly before I go any further. You with me, Nikki? Okay, so ink that up. And th this is just a great stamp set. Now this one, you guys, is only good until January 4th, I wanna say, before it's gone. It's not carrying over. Let's get it while you can. Okay, Nikki, I'm going to assume that you're okay now. All right, where is my card? Let me see what I'm doing here. Oh, shoulders are so tight. All right, so then I said have two coordinating cardstock strips that are a half inch by five and a half inches. And that is because I just want to put a little bit of color behind these angles. And this is what Jackie had done. Most of the cards that I, not most, some of the cards that I saw had color behind it, like a frame. Um, Jackie's did. Norella's didn't. So you do you. But I just thought, let's just add a little bit of color. So I just want to have a little bit of a border. Not too much, because I don't want to hide the designer paper that I just laid down there. Right. So I'm just, we're going to cut this off. So don't worry about this. We're just, I'm using liquid glue, which you know I don't usually do just so that I've got time to move it to exactly where I want it. Got the stamp set in the paper because I don't want to miss out. Oh, Shayla, love you. There's going to be lots of time. So once you just finish watching me make one, then you're off to the races. Okay, so here I'm just trying to make the same, like about an eighth of an inch border. Now, I really should have erased these little pencil marks. This, this is still the eraser I used in uh, university. So this is like a 20, this is a very old eraser. We don't need to tell, we don't know how. When did I graduate? 1988. And then again in 1992 or something like that. I don't know. So it's a very old eraser. Oh, Alicia and I, when we were shopping, we saw an electric eraser. I'm like... That is the height of laziness. An electric eraser? Okay. Uh, I don't know, Mary. 
Ordered three packs of DSP. Missed out on the gold swirls. Oh, Melanie. Well, I can't sell them to you yet. I could probably trade you. I have an extra pack. Because, um, yeah, the gold swirls are sold out. I can't sell them. All I can do is trade you for stuff. But you live so far away. It's okay. They're very gold. They are very, very gold. Guess you didn't make a lot of mistakes. <laughs> no, you can buy refills, Shayla. But thank you for your... <laughs> for See, you just pop in a new one. But this is... This is my, the old holder. Anyway. <laughs> All right. So now we've got these pieces like this. I'm going to pop them up on dimensionals. This is kind of where the wow happens. Yeah. I'm not making mistakes. Okay. No one would believe that. Now this is where I'm a little bit more generous with my dimensionals because I want a nice um firm element. I don't want it sagging in the middle. Now you might want to, if you wanted to put some ribbon or anything down, you might not want to put all these dimensionals down until you figured out what you're going to do with your decorating. But this one, I am keeping this one simple. So take it off the backings with my, I love this pokey tool. Honestly, I, my nails are much happier. They're getting there. They're starting to grow a, a bit. And I went to do my nails last night and I went, oh, I forgot. I do my, I do the, uh, fortify which is like my moisturizer one night and then I wait 24 hours before I put polish on so I couldn't do my nails last night it was sad speaking of uh if any of you guys are into the gel polish um uh black Fla black friday black friday deals are happening now Tamara's pretty nails is that what I call my page Tamara's pretty nails I think so <laughs> you can hop on over there and check out the promotions that are going on there there's like BOGO buy one get one all right so here's where we're going see see this paper I can deal with this now <laughs> the electric racers are intended for artists who use graphite can they not use an eraser or is it because their hands will smudge other things Trina I don't understand I'm like what 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 is that all about I don't know all right, so here, for my embellishment, I'm decide, I decided to use this cutout from the uh, spruced bundle. Now, you can see when I run it through the machine, it comes out with three pieces in the one pass. Well, I want this to be one solid piece. So Tamara's tip here is I'm going to turn it upside down, and I'm putting all of my pieces back together like a puzzle, including this little tick right here, this little guy goes in here he's gonna go in there then I'm gonna get friendly with my tear and tape if I can find it which I cannot where did you go Joe it was here it was here does anybody see my tear and tape I don't see it where are you tear and tape there it is wrong drawer Less transfer of the graphite when your hand isn't near it. Huh. Look at the big brain on you guys tonight. Seriously. Pat, <laughs> don't encourage. Where is Princess? Princess, are you here? <laughs> oh, we seriously have to have t shirts printed, Jennifer. Honestly. I'm here. Can you start again? <laughs> oh, my God. I don't know what that means. Less transfer of the graphite when your hand isn't near it. I don't know what that means. Less transfer. Okay, so here's what I'm doing. I am just taping these pieces back together using my tear and tape. So I'm just doing little small ticks of the tape. To put it back together. Now, I do have another tip for this um, that I gave in one of my classes. So if... If you don't feel like doing that, where is my die? Um, did I put it away? No, I thought I had it here. Where is my die? Hang on. Let me see if I can find it. Because I, this is a good tip. This is a good one. So another way you can go about getting this without doing the tip. Well, come on. It was here. I thought I put it on my, my Tracy thing. Right? The I'm so happy you exist. But it's not there. Um, hang on. Because it's a good tip. Here it is. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. Um, this is why it takes me an hour to make a card. I get so distracted. 
seriously, do I not have, oh, for heaven's sakes. Um, okay. All right, look away for a minute. Uh, all right, hang on. Hold on. It's a good tip, you'll want to know this one. Because you don't always want the pieces separated. Now, of course, they came out this time. So here's what I want to do. You know, a lot of times when you die cut a lot and a lot, a lot, a lot, the pieces don't come out. And then you have to grab your pokey tool and you have to poke and they, and then, right, you, then you got to dig them out. Of course, I want it to stay in there, so it's not going to. So cut one out, leave it in the die, leave it in there. Okay. And then I'm actually going to put this in, see if this will work too. I'm going to leave this one in as well. Leave the bits in there. And let's see if I can make this, this little, that one probably isn't going to work. Okay, so now I'm going to run it through the die cutting machine like this. So that purple one is in there. Let's see what happens here. Show ya. I'll show you what happens. Lord help me if this doesn't work. All right, so here, here it is. So I just cut it out of the blue. Please don't have cut all the way through. <laughs> Let's see if this didn't work. Ah, it um, okay. It did cut it. It's pretty close. Yeah, it's cut it. Okay, but trust me, <laughs> usually it doesn't cut, like it's not falling apart. It is sort of falling apart. But anyway, you do that enough times and it won't. Um, trust me. For my class, when I prepped my class doing this, this is exactly what happened. The white one that I had cut out um, was stuck in here and then it didn't cut these pieces out. So I'm just securing it because it's pretty close. Saw the magnetic bowls at the Dollarama. Oh, cool. Thanks, Teresa. Yes, I have mine. I have one. It just holds on my blocks. So these are meant for our dies because it's magnetic and then our dies stick to it and they don't get lost. However, all right, anyway, this is my tip for not having to do this. So I'm just tearing tape those. Anyway, I still ended up having to do it, but all right, so where's my card? I digress and now I've lost my card. There it is. All right, so I want this to hang over this section over here. So Oops, I'm going to pop a dimensional there because I want it to be popped up the same height as this one. So putting a dimensional there and actually I think I'll put one here too just to secure it really well. And I'm actually going to take this off because why not? And I'm going to put a little bit extra tape down here. Take that off. Thanks, Jennifer. Take that off. Okay. So this is going to go here. Oh, not as much blue is showing. So, okay, that's not ideal. So maybe I would do it in different colors. In the one I did, there was more blue showing. But anyway, there's a little bit of blue hiding in there. So it's fine. Like that. Okay. Then... You could stop there, but no, nay, nay. I'm going to add a big bow. This is, um, I'm going to use about nine. This is a retired baker's twine. Don't judge me. Well, you can judge me if you want to. Use my bow tire, tie a big bow. This is a retired baker's twine, but I mean, I've got... I have a large bucket of Baker's Twine, and that's something I'll just keep forever because I love it. It doesn't take up a lot of space. Thank Marnie, isn't it fun? Dimensionals for the white and blue pieces. Yes, Trina. So these ones are up on dimensionals, right? The white pieces. And then the blue, I only want dimensionals on the bum of this guy so that he's even. So there's tape here and there's dimensionals here. Uh, yes, no, I know Tracy, but not in this color. This one's, um, one of our crushed curries, but yes, we can still get the Baker's twine. Thank you for that. Uh, and I just keep every Baker's twine that I've ever had. 
But yes, we can still get Baker's Twine, just not necessarily the colors that I use. But, you know, use what you've got, ladies. There. So there's my bow. Now we just need a little bit of bling. Um, I'm going to use these. No. Okay. I was going to use these. I could. There is yellow. Again, you can't see a lot of it. So uh, I'm starting to use these up a little bit more. These are our glossy dots assortment. And I like that there are different shapes, three different sizes. I mean, not shapes. Did I say shapes? I like that there are different sizes. Three different sizes make me happy. And there is our card. Yeah, you gotta gotta hoard it. Oh, this. Oh, yeah. No, it's got the. It's the two toned. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yes, you can use, I mean, this works with any paper, you guys, any paper. And I think the busier, the louder, um, the smaller patterns work better, but anything's going to work. Now, remember I said that you could keep this piece here. So how about, because waste not, want not, let me erase this little tick mark here. So as I was playing... Jackie didn't do this part. Nobody told me, but it went, well, why can't I use this piece on a card? So watch what happens here. If you have another, let's do the same thing. Um, get a card base and have the designer paper at, oh, hang on, i got to find more paper. I know I've got tons of it here. I just have to get my fingers on it. So if I cut that at uh, three and three quarters by five, so three and three quarters across. Oh, I have such a headache. Wow. By five. Craig didn't sleep well, so that means I didn't. He, he, he got up at like, what time was it? He got up at five. I guess he was awake at four. He got up at five. I was like, what's happening? What's going on? Where are you going? All right, tape this down. Thanks, Hope. Thanks, Marcella. Thanks, Kathy Jean. Okay, so let's put this down here. Now look. Huh? Huh? Okay, so how about if I grab... Um, now, what kind... You know what? Why don't I use... Let's use the green. Let's use the shaded spruce here. Because that's what's really pulling here for me. So I'm going to use shaded spruce. And I'll just do a five and a half by half. Where's that paper in the caddy? Jennifer, that is um, the host pack at the back of the holiday catalog. Something about celebrate all the things. I don't know what it's called. Why would I know what it's called? <laughs> celebrate everything, I think it's called, maybe? All right. Now this one, um, let's use a different sentiment. No, yeah, uh, let's see. So this is gonna go here. We need something that's a little bit smaller. I could do the fa la la. Yeah, I could use Noel. That doesn't really scream Noel to me. From our home, oh, no. Okay, that was a little bit big. So, yeah, I missed it too for a month or so. Yeah, me too. Okay, let's see. Joyful wishes. That would work. But I don't know that the font is appropriate. Joyful wishes. Eh, a little big. Hang on. Let's see if we can find something else that works better. How about Mr. Moosey? What's he got? Oh, Bob Bill Doctor. The coolest. No. Uh, have a sweet Christmas to you. Happy holidays. Uh, Christmas to remember. Uh, okay, I need a smaller up and down one. Do, 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 do. Leaves of holly. Seasons, greens, Christmas wishes. Is that one? I haven't used that cat set yet. Oh, this is too small. Let's see what's going on here. Christmas wishes. I eh, could do. Don't like the positioning. Um... Hey, wait, don't go away. Uh, 
This is like my favorite one, but I think it's too big. Where is it? Is it too big still? It's way too big. Urgh. No. Why do I struggle finding a, just the right Merry Christmas all the time? I don't know. Joyful Christmas to you and yours? Nah, that's too formal. Okay, I think this little guy might work. Sure, let's do that. Merry Christmas. So from our Christmas Scotty guy. Yeah, thanks Donna. I haven't totally forgotten yet. Trees for sale. Oh, I didn't get that set, Trina. Can you believe it? It's true. Shocking, I know. I didn't love it. And I'm like, no, they can't make me buy it. They couldn't make me, so I didn't. All right, shaded spruce. Do, 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 do. Okay, so if this was to go here. So I guess my point is, when I said this card makes one card, like why would you waste this little chunk? We can use another piece of the designer series paper because we've got boatloads of it. Merry Christmas. Like that. Oh, that would have been a good idea. Yeah, I didn't see that. Okay, fa la la. Yeah. Too late. Oh, look what I just did. <laughs> the struggle is real. And my finger is green. <laughs> it isn't easy being green. Yeah, inside. Thank you. Thank you, guys. I'll get there. I have to finish making my card. Okay, so for this one, I'm going to put glue on both the top and the bottom. How can it be 741? I did not ramble for that long. I didn't. Jeez. Okay, so I'm going to go like this. Shaded spruce. Happy holidays. Okay, so I was in the store shopping with Alicia on Saturday, and they had Christmas music. And already I was like, okay, enough with the Christmas music. <laughs> the same four songs by like 19 different artists. I was like, oh, 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 oh. Nothing makes me crankier than Christmas music on repeat. Which I don't think is the intent. Alas. Hey, so guys, there's a big sale starting December 1. I should really tell people about it soon. I guess that means I have to do a newsletter Ret uh it's like last chance list for the holiday catalog big sale well they say up to 60 percent off i've seen the list i really should post it dyes you guys most of the dyes are like 40 40 percent off good deals december one Okay, so that's going to get popped up on Dimensionals. And you could stop just at that. Like, honestly, you could just make it be like that. Because that's a good sentence. You could just make it be like that. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. I do think I'm losing it some days, you guys. My family does, too. They were just like... <laughs> they were singing to the dog last night, and they were a little concerned for my mental health. <laughs> Said, that's what happens when I relax. I get really obnoxious, really giddy. I don't know. Except the gnome, correct, Melanie. So, um, but the list has been updated. So it the list is right now. So the gnome, yeah, no, they're not on sale. No, whatever is retiring, not everything is on sale, but certain dyes are 40% off. Um, but yeah, the dyes, the gnome dyes are carrying over. Okay, I don't, do I really feel, okay, I'm going to show you my other cards. Because now I'm just fiddle farting around here. Maybe, what should I do on this one? Should I do a big green, oh, maybe I should do a big green tree. No, these are ornaments though. Is there any trees? No, that, that doesn't really go. Maybe it goes. Should I do a big green tree? It doesn't need to be green. Or should I do a big, big ass ornament? I'm thinking a big ornament. Anyway, you decide. Let me know what you think. And I'll get to that. So let me, let me show you my other cards that I made. So. The one that I made earlier tonight, and then this is the one I made this afternoon. So this, you can see, this is the one I made this afternoon. There's more blue. This one doesn't have as much blue. So maybe in hindsight, I would have done it with the pink. 
pink ornaments. Tree, go for the tree, go for the tree, ornament. Oh, you guys, <laughs> it's always split. Okay, so then this one, check this out. Ready, 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 ready. That one was fun. And this is how, like, you know, there was obviously a hair, a piece of fluff on my stamp, and that happens to stamp. But this is using the florets thing bundle stuff and then this is where I came up with hey we could use that extra piece so here's the piece that was here look at it isn't that nice so these are the um these are the thingies that are sold out now you can't get these anymore this paper too is only while supplies last so it'll be next to go because this paper is quite popular um and then so I added these um these things words are hard I used these blue ones and they, they would work this color, but I colored them with my dark Night of Navy blend to make them darker. And then what the heck? I was getting a little out of control with my, I had, I had five Donna, right? One, two, three, four, five. Um, anyway, so this is where I came up with this. Hey, let's use this extra piece. I really like that. If, if you love the paper, uh, if you don't, then don't. <laughs> so back to this guy with just a little bit of blue and let's see so we went with ornament oh thank you Jody you're so kind ornament tree ornament 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 no tree 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 so really whenever I ask the question it's always split <laughs> a gold star hmm Excuse me. All right. Ornament. Let's see what Tamara feels like doing. Kind of think the tree is nice. But in a solid. See, it has to be solid though, because it's gonna look weird if it's just an outline. Um, I kind of like that shape. Let's see what it would look like with like pretend that this is green. That one works too. Takes up more real estate. But in green. Ornament, tree. This paper is your favorite? It's really pretty if, like, in the right scenario. You can't, it, you can't have too many things going on. Ornament, hey? So now round ornament or long ornament? I kind of like this squat guy. I'm going to do him. Let's just do him. Now, how about this for a little fun? How about if we do the ornament in this paper sure let's try that and see what happens let's mix it up a bit I had another one all planned out so if I could actually finish this card oh, he's angry so that and then if I did To my table here hang on so here's the outline but i'm thinking instead of doing that why don't i do the outline in this green which is i think the granny apple so i'm going to cut out another one out of granny apple green oh for the love of god you'd think i really need to bring out a new set of plates that aren't all warped Here we go. Let's do this. Got all these pieces everywhere. I'm falling off my chair. A big bow. I like that idea. Oh, Judy. Look at the big brain on Judy. Judy, Judy, Judy. Where is my mistletoe set? Mistletoe. 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 Please let there be one in here. How's that, hey? Okay, so here what I'm, I'm thinking of doing this. Where's my little green stitchy guy? Here we go. So let's do this. So the old piecing it back together thing. That old chestnut. Okay, so 
Let's conduct some surgery here. This is why I like having little extra pieces <laughs> that I don't have to cut them out when I'm behind the schedule. Okay, tear and tape. Where are you now? There you are. What are you doing over there, buddy? Light green bow. I could do that too. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ah, the paper and the florette. Yeah. Yes. I love that, that one pattern too. And yes, there's another one that I love. I love the plaid, this plaid one. That's gorgeous. I love that one. Okay. I should let you know while I'm doing my surgery. So, um, I do have my class this Friday night. The, uh, what's it called? The Celebrate Everything Tags class. Now, you won't be able to take my live class. The, the deadline has passed and I can't get the mail to you in time. But you can still take it uh, and watch the replay whenever you like. I record the class. I upload it to my private YouTube channel. And then I share the... Um, the replay with you so if you're interested in taking the class those the dies and stamp set uh, are carrying over to the next catalog so you have more life out of it if you're a demonstrator you'll have more use for it um, it's not going away okay I like that why yeah, I'm not even in the field of vision here okay this one I'm not going to put a dimensional yeah yeah but what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a dimensional here down here and then the rest is tape up here uh, anyway, yes, if you're interested in taking the class, it's $100 long distance, $90 local, and you actually get the class for free because it costs um, 99 depending on where you live, it's like $99.76, <laughs> so the class itself is free. This math is hard, and I messed up my calculations. Okay, so if I put that there, and then I could do a bow. The red doesn't really go, but uh, I like that bow. So, uh, I could do light green, but I've used light green. How about, I'm thinking pink. Let's use the pink. I don't know if it's this pink, but it is now. It's going to be this pink. Sure. And then we'll call this one done. What time is it? 7.52. Oh gosh, I don't know if I'm going to get the last one done. That's fine. Okay, maybe I don't love that, but <laughs> um, maybe the red. Maybe there's more of red. Just this red. Is that pop I think that's Poppy Parade, though. So, where's my Poppy Parade? Poppy, Poppy, Poppy. Are you Poppy? No. Where's your Poppy? Where's Poppy? I'm not loving the pink. Let's try the poppy and see if we like that better. I don't have time, Donna. There's no time. I have to finish the card before I do the envelope, girl. But thank you for reminding me. Oh, Lord, I dropped it. Oh, no, there's no time to drop it. I fall off my chair. I'm back. Okay. I think that's a little bit better than the pink, hey? Yeah, it's a good bow, Judy. It is a good bow. So, in theory, I want to pop it up, but in practice, um, where are my little dimensionals? Is there room for a little one in there? Not so much. What the heck? I don't think there's enough room for a little one. I could cut it, I suppose. I don't know. Life's a little too short for cutting small dimensionals and a half. I'm just going to glue it. Come on. This glue, like I love it, but I'm challenged with it. I get it everywhere. Okay. Oh, it's so cute. And I don't know, do I want any little doodads? I don't really because it's such busy paper on this pattern here, you can get away with it because you just can. But here, maybe I need one. I'll do one. Put 
There, that's all you get. Okay. Where's the bow from, Melanie? That is from the uh, Mistletoe Magic. It's a good one. Mistletoe Magic. Now, I had another piece of paper here that I thought, let's see if I can do this really quick. And I suppose I'm out of paper that is... What is this? this is the thick stuff. Um, let me do a quick cut job on this one. I should put the lid on here. We still have five minutes, right? So if I do five... By three and three quarters. I just thought I could do a big. Uh, where are we going? Half an inch. One and a quarter. What did I say? Two and a half. Half. Okay, so you guys, you have to play along tonight and you have to enter to be in my contest for a free stamp set. Come on, who doesn't want a free stamp set? I want a free stamp set. I don't even have this. Once I give this to you, I don't have one. I don't have this one. I'm giving it to you. Aren't I swell? Okay, so that's the back there. All right, so now this, if I go like this and I go like this, and then I was thinking, all right, so... I can go back to this Tis the Season to be Jolly. Because it's big, and I'm going to do it in... Um, um, um. Two, five and a half. Like, they're so quick. Look at this. I'm just going to crack this off in no time. She said. 7.57. I have three minutes. I'm going to stamp this. I need... I'm going to go with Evening Evergreen because I've got time to think about it. I want a free set, but I'm in the USA and it's just for Canada, right? Uh, I'm not supposed to send product across the border, Jody. Do you want to play anyway? I'd love if you still posted your card. But I'm not supposed to put product across the border. So I'm sorry. I still love you guys. But hey, if you won, then you would just have one more thing to pack up. Really, right? <laughs> okay. Now, so that's an evening evergreen. I'm going to turn it over and hope I don't smudge it. I should put glue all the way along. Sorry, Donna, there's no time for envelopes and insides, but I will do it. Off camera. Hey, did you guys see? So I had my girlfriends over on Friday night, and I put to, we put together that cozy and bright kit. Those cards, you guys, they're perfect wine drinking cards. <laughs> Because you don't have to concentrate and you can still drink a bottle of wine and they still look lovely. Ask me how I know. Highly recommend it. Highly recommend that kit. It's a good one. And you get 12 in the kit. It's $32 plus tax and shipping. Works out to about $37.92 or something like that. Uh, I sure could send her a card. I could do that, Melanie. It's, but, you know. She wants a stamp set, girl. Okay. I would still love you to play along, though, Jody. Okay, I'm going to pop these up on dimensionals if I haven't used them. I do have some left. All right, let's do it. So my vision is to put uh, the big... Um, Leafy thing for the decoration on this one. Running out of time though. I've got one minute. Oh, here's what I was thinking too. Hey, look. Look at this. You could stop at that. Boom. You've got a card. What? Then you've got this piece. Boom. You've got a card. Like you don't have to do what I'm doing. Isn't that pretty just by itself? It is. Don't argue with me. So 
So please play along. You have until 6.45 Mountain Time, p.m. This Thursday, whatever the day is on Thursday, the 24th. There we go. Uh, to get your entry in. Look, oh, oh, maybe it's in the right color. Wait, I have an olive one here, but I don't think it's quite right. But anyway. Yeah, this is nice. Sorry, Leslie. <laughs> Maybe we'll just get Leslie to share her card because mine's not going to be done in time. Um, the nice thing about this set is that it has all the different, like, it has all the different colors. You can layer them. Those don't work. You get the idea, though. Oh, there we go. There it is. There it is. Go like that but I'm gonna need another one so I don't quite have time to finish this off so I'll sign off there I'll finish decorating it figure out all the things like and there's cherry anyway you get the idea I could just go like that but now I'm gonna fiddle fire around with it for a while anyway yeah something like that was my vision pretending they're the different colors Anyway, like that. So it's 8.01. Let's recap what we did here tonight. This one has not finished. I mean, we could be, we, we could even leave this one like this. <sighs> Thanks, Teresa. All right. So we've got these two. We've got uh, these two. And then we've got half of this one. <laughs> but it just goes to show, like, really, you could leave it just like that. Or, as discussed, leave it without this part on. So I'll decorate that. But it's it's such an easy wow layout. Don't you think? I think so. The Boughs of Hollywood Trinkets. Yes, Kathy G. Oh, look at the big brain on Kathy G tonight. Yes, I will dig those out because I have two packages of them. And so we really should start using them soon. So... Um, play along, you guys. Get your name in the draw for the In the Country Celebration set. No time for show and tell. I got the rest of the stuff. But honestly, I think it was, was it Melanie? Somebody? No, it was uh, Melissa. You wanted to do show and tell. It's a little early for that yet. We still have um, this catalog to get through. You guys can't, demonstrators can buy it as of December. So you've seen it in the catalog. Uh, customers can't buy it to January, though. So I don't like to tease that far ahead. Um, now, so don't forget, I'm not live tomorrow night. I'm changing my check it out Tuesday to a check it out Thursday for this week. Next week, I will be doing a mystery card Monday because it's still November. But when is December one? It's like soon. So there's my calendar. I'm not doing lives in the evening in December. Uh, December one is next Thursday. So I'm not, I'm just going to do one more mystery card Monday. I do have my uh, coffee break this Friday. Um, but I won't be doing any more Tuesday nights. Okay. So just switch it in your mind. Let's check it out Thursday. Okay. But thank you for hanging out with me tonight and I will see you on Thursday. Have a great week. Bye.